also in the tenor, so I don't have that much knowledge. Sorry. Um, okay, so a little background information about me. I've been playing the alto saxophone for five years. Um, I was introduced to it when we were picking instruments at school. Um, I had to choose between trombone, flute, clarinet, and saxophone. I chose the saxophone. I played the tenor saxophone for one year, but they're pretty much the same. The tenor is just a little bit bigger. Uh, I enjoy fish keeping, playing the saxophone, soccer, and biology. Um, so I am currently a ninth grader at Basis Independent Fremont Upper Campus. No. So, I like the saxophone because it's very unique. Um, it has a very wide use, uh, range of sounds from high to low, um, which I will demonstrate later. There's like so many buttons you can press, I think at least 20, and each of them form many combinations. So there are many notes you can play. And also it just feels really satisfying to play when you hold it and you feel it vibrate. Um, it's also very visually uh, appealing. Like in my opinion, it looks better than the clarinet and the flute. And um, there's also there's many variants as I mentioned before, like the alto, the baritone, the tenor, etc. And I'm pretty sure they're all similar, uh, except the bigger the saxophone, the deeper the sound it would produce. Um, so some history and fun facts. It was created by Adolphe Sax, who was a musician in 1840. And um, the reason the saxophone is so similar to the clarinet in terms of the notes is that Adolphe Sax played the clarinet when, and he created the saxophone. So I learned clarinet for like five months before I gave up. And um, it was pretty easy since I had previous knowledge on the saxophone. He patented it six years after creating the original version. And when it first came out, it was used for many things, like in military bands, classical music, and jazz. An example of it being used in military bands is sometimes they would play it for, at night um, for soldiers when they're sleeping. I actually played a song that they used to help them sleep but my teacher told me that if they heard me play, they would have nightmares. Um, there have been many odd variations of the saxophone since Adolphe created the saxophone. Uh, however, none have really lasted long and have had a big impact on the musical world. Okay, so the saxophone has a uh, saxophone has a mouthpiece, which is this black thing, and on it is a reed that vibrates when you play it, and also a ligature, which is this to hold the reed in place, and then it connects through the neck to the neck with a cork that holds it in place, and then the neck connects to the body. which has several keys and a bell. It's also a neck strap because the saxophone only has sort of one place where you can securely hold it with your thumb. And people like to dance around when playing the saxophone. So if you constantly held it with your thumb, um, it would not be pretty painful. So this is a woodman instrument, even though it's made of brass. It has a reed. and. Um, and yeah. So the saxophone range is from B flat three to F six. Um, 
if the images are kind of blurry, however, this is a saxophone's range, and that's a flute's range. Um, so as you can see, it's quite higher and lower also. So the lowest note is, or the lowest note that I know how to play. So basically, when you tongue the saxophone, you uh, you create pauses between notes by stopping the airflow with your tongue. But there's only a um, there's a limit of how fast you can tongue it. So um, I don't really know how it works, but if you sort of make a gurgling noise with your tonsils and then you blow into the saxophone, you can create a growling noise.
On every vacation at a verbal home, there's someone like you who reunited the family.
how he uses the te uh, growling techniques. I'll show some nice vibrato. And uh, that's it. The week, the weekend after next. We're skipping we'll have, next we'll week. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, it, it's just <laughs> so to you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in hearing more of these, then uh, make sure to come to the same place to the talk. Thank you. Sex. He actually played in the Annapolis High School, or he was the director of the Annapolis High School band. Oh, um, wow. Well. And started in Annapolis 50 or 60 years ago. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, he played the, he killed, he played the alto sax. Oh, nice. I thought he played clarinet, or did he too? Nope. 